gonna steal bucket cam for a minute. Yep. Just for a minute. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Do, 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 do. So, how was the rest of the watch earlier? Good? That was good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff? Yeah, there's lots of good stuff. Lots of animals. Had so many fish. Oh, we had predation events. Ooh. Yeah. What kind of predation? Um, one of the sable fish was eating a rockfish. Ooh, that rock sounds fish. fun. We yeah. think <laughs> the rockfish was dead before Yeah, though. the rockfish had passed on before, you know, we saw the okay. consumption, but, you know, it was still, it was pretty cool. It was kind of funny because it was, the rockfish was off to the side and it wasn't really moving. And then all of a sudden a sable fish comes out of nowhere and like just picks it up, grabs it. And then uh, we had some great Atalanta views with like schools of sable fish just hanging out in the light pool. And we saw some catch some snacks. And we had the, the big skate come by while we were push coring. There's a skate. <laughs> that was funny. Trevor's like, buddy, <laughs> excuse me. Bad timing. What was that? <laughs> 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 yeah. Sounds right. I want to see a halibut. I want to eat a halibut. <laughs> you got to see one before you can eat one. Look at that eel pout though, it's so cute. <laughs> I just realized how shallow we are. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I know you're so used to like the 2600. I know, I was just like, is that another crack? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell how shallow we are based on the density of organisms that we're seeing. The scientists might be able to tell that. <laughs> well, Megan is a scientist. <laughs> yeah. Isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. We're like, yep, there's a yeah. lot of stuff. We must be shallower. A lot more carbon coming from the surface. Mm -hmm. And the types of animals that you see, like the fish having, you know, the 
the split caudal oh, yeah. fins Look instead of, you know, the, the sort of rat taily. I want to see a link cod. I don't a think cod? we have cod over here. Yeah. No, they got link cod up here. Yeah, we do? We've seen do a they? few times, yeah. Yeah. You see in the Strait of Georgia. Big old prehistoric looking thing with an ugly mouth. Uh -huh. Awesome. Do they go this deep? I don't know, at the range of depth for cod. Uh, Maybe, yeah. Well, link cod. They're about 100 to 150 me uh, right? meters, I think. Okay. I thought they were shallower. Oh, that's where I used to fish for them. It's about 100 meters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Off the Oregon coast. So these sablefish look like they could be tasty. They are. They sell on the market in Victoria. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to find some for like our one day adventure. How are you going to cook it? Oh, well, I'll have someone cook it. Let's like go to a restaurant. <laughs> sell it in restaurants, I'm assuming. Sure. I was going to say sablefish sushi. We'll just catch it and uh, yeah, bring it up on the RV. We'll put so it in a Ziploc bag, put oh, it in the freezer. That's what you could use that sort of destiny for. And Trevor was getting a num number of nibbles. <laughs> he was. <laughs> we would have caught something if we had a hook. We'll bring our hook, of, uh, our hook back on the vehicle and we'll just... It would be kind of cool to go down with like a baited bag like we did with Drazen. Mm -hmm. So are salmon the only fish species that have pink meat, pink flesh? Pink flesh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty close. I think salmon's like the only pink. Yeah, I don't know. Of course. These are black cod, right? Yeah. I've yeah, I haven't, like, yeah. cut a bunch of fish open, <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. It's like a flat fish. Yeah, it is flat. Oh, Look at the guy swimming under us on the bubble Oh, camp. yeah. And they're, like, light. We can see the light, so we're going to hunt. They love it. They're all about it. They're just majestic, the way they, the way they swim. They are. A lot better swimmers than me. <laughs> well, you can work on that. But you'll never be as good as a fish. Nope. As Bane once said, you have merely adopted the dark. <laughs> I was born in it. <laughs> Every time I see these fish though, I think of Doi, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> That's what they do. That's how you fish. She just had to remind herself to keep swimming. That's because she kept forgetting. Exactly. She just had real severe ADHD, that's all. that shaped civilization. <laughs> if you think about it, Pixar did a wonderful job at that. And causing it to be a childhood trauma.
wonder how much one of these mesotech sonars cost. I feel like it'd be a really good sonar for our TMS. Probably more than we're willing to pay for it. <laughs> well, good news is we've got like four Sea Kings, so we'll make make one of those work. Yeah. Well, we first have to get more work before we can get more things. Is that how it works? Pretty much. Can't you just keep buying stuff. Why not? We're, we're university funded. We just ask for money and they give it to us. That's not that's not how that works. <laughs> Maybe if you're one of those shark studying people and they give you money. If you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, that's true. Look, a redfish. I don't think we'd have that problem. Yeah, it's a Sebastes. Not a rockfish? Yep. Those look pretty tasty, too. Got a fish coming up on our left side. Yep, that's one of those l large fin eel pouts. Like codas? You mean the other left? <laughs> no, that, the was right a, no, that was the right side. There was, right there was right one head. swimming next to a uh, magnum, just like mm -hmm. hanging out under the magnum. Oh, I wasn't paying. Oh, they're just following you outside the light pool, I see. Yeah. Yep, there's a whole pile of them. Uh, it's st that's still on your right side, but... <laughs> Yeah. Well, there was one hanging out right under the magnum, like watching under the porch. Oh. And you couldn't really see him, but it, in the uh, pilot cam. And again, another flatfish. Yep. Lots of those. They just look dead. They're trying to. They're trying to camouflage. Those eel pouts are finally faced in a different direction. Yeah, because we're going in a different direction. Oh, okay, I'm that assuming makes they're sense. all facing the same direction. The same opposite direction? Yeah, they're probably all facing into the current. Yeah. Got some good notes over there. Yeah, craft control. Grip lock button flew off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, they shouldn't have been pushing it so hard. Oh, here's our cable slope DQ fetch east cable. You guys are lucky you don't have this parrotfish over here because they like to attack and eat our cables. Yeah, well, parrotfish are much shallower living. Yes. And tropical. And they like to eat, like, anything. Yeah. But it's funny, when we pulled up the, uh, the Kilo and Alu cable, yeah. that thing just looked like it had been munched on. Oh, I'm sure it has. They munch on coral. They're like, oh, look at this gummy candy. <laughs> well, that's how you guys get such nice beaches there. How many more meters we have on this one? Uh, pretty close. We got 160. What is that, a trash pile? It's a rock. Covered in dirt. And life. And life. Lots of life down here. Oh yeah, I'm sure, like if you could zoom into the sediment, 
to be teaming with a whole bunch of stuff. Really exciting stuff. We're just seeing lots of big stuff too. Well, you know how um, Craig Smith had that box drag thing, the sled uh -huh. that like scoops the up. Sled? Yeah, the Effie Benthic sled. Be mm -hmm. interesting to like have one that kind of just comes out the bottom of Hercules. So when we're doing a transect like this, we can just drag the bottom and get a collection. Oh yeah, don't stop because on the plume of. Oh yeah, no, mud. definitely don't Come stop, but. I don't know if you could do that with this ROV safely. I know that sled does like take a pretty good chunk of material. Yeah. Craig Smith might be joining us later on the chat. Oh yeah. We're gonna be surveying some of our whalebone experiments in Barclay Mid East. Oh that'll be uh, really cool. That's cool. Wood we have some humpback rib bones and wood uh, substrate colonization experiments up there for about 10 years, no, nine years. How long does it take to like fully consume the bones? Well, it depends how deep you are, um, what kind of bones you're talking about, if they're rich in lipids, if they're li lipid poor, um, if we are in an oxygen minimum zone like here. This one's like we were no like nine years we haven't had uh, evidence of the zombie worms mm. um, uh, colonizing the bones. So far maybe we'll see that later on today or tomorrow. I think tomorrow. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Good with that, Jake? Yep. Okay. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> I've got some pretty cool pictures of uh, Craig Smith and his students on the back deck of the Kila Moana looking like they're uh, Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, when they we dropped those for the when bones. We did the for whale the bones. Yeah. God, that stunk up of that boat. Oh yeah, it smelled bad on the back deck for like the whole day. Horrible. But if you're one of these animals, it probably smells delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, buffet. Mm -hmm. All you can eat buffet. How far away can they smell? Um, really far. Well, yeah, that, that, yeah, that smell can transfer through the water quite far. We'll have, like when we do drop cameras, we'll have fish coming from like kilometers away. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like static from like a loudspeaker, but I know there's no speakers in here. No, no somebody moving a chair. I think it's something outside. Uh, under mirrors, so. Someone walking by the, the side of the van or something. Hmm. Itching to recover. Itching to recover. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. Here we have lots of. So we're we just going to end up at.
Um, so we're going to end here and glaciers. then we'll have to go back. Okay. Hey, glaciers, they... Cool. That's the plan. Drop stones. That's the plan. Because I got to pick one yeah, of they, these... They, they glacial erratics. Really great. Erratics? Yes, it's please, like let's stop here. Yeah, as they scrape the, 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 the sea floor in earlier times, the rocks get stuck in, under the ice. And then... And then drops like, yeah. All I right, we got... Fifteen more meters to go. Fifteen more meters. Um, Roger. Yeah, past geological times. Really? Uh, I assume. Yeah, otherwise... Well, we are on the slope here where we had some glacial carving. I can imagine ca it's going to be that. Like, at the very least, calving, yeah, a floating glaciers that have that hooked onto a rock and now they're floating around in the ocean and drops them, right? Yeah. All right, I can, I well, can, they help I to can form the, the the head of the canyons. Many canyons are formed oh. due to glacial carving. Gotcha. Yeah, I I just can't think of any other reason why there'd be a big rock uh, like that. Yeah. But you think it would be covered by sediment or? Yeah. Well, the sedimentation rates are pretty slow here on the right. slope. Five oh, more meters. The, the sediments probably probably get erosion more so than anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's one thing, I guess, to put a sediment trap down and record sedimentation, but then the other thing is how much sediment gets removed annually. Sediment so zero. How much sediment is removed? By yeah. resuspension, you mean? Well, or erosion? It, yeah, by erosion, because we can put sediment yeah. traps track sedimentation, but we can't actually see accumulation by using sediment traps, right? We have to have like some other way of measuring. The yeah, we, we right? take cores and do like lead, uh, lead to 10 decay. Okay, okay, let's call that end of transect. End of transect. End of transect. 2227. Okay. So we, we still have a few of those old sediment okay. traps, so we, like the white ones, remember those ones? We have lots of sediment traps. Yeah, we have those McLean ones, but then we also have the the white ones that are just kind of sitting on the taking up space. You know those? <laughs> okay, so we are done with that transect. That back row. What's that? They're in conversation. Um, done with the transect. Full wide. I guess we'll just what, start moving. Uh, yeah, I guess I know where we need to go, so yeah. let's get there. Still on your gauge cam. Roger. I zoom in so I can actually see, see the stuff again. Okay, uh, back to porch. VPR, transit start. So we need to go about 300 meters, 280. I will just have the ship drive there. You okay. think that'd be faster? How fast do you want to go? I don't know, point, point 0.5, point 0.5 knots? Okay. Okay, so we are ready to head to our next point. If you do want to change heading and uh, head there, it's about 300 meters away. Perfect. Thanks, yeah. Port 5. Yeah, that'd be great. I go miles and nope, miles talking to you a little bit. Sorry. No, it's my fault, I think. I was just coming up off of 30 because... Point 
planning ahead. Ah, uh, DVL's off. That's what's going on. You're farther away than it looks like. Yep. Oh, yes. You want me to reset that for you? Yeah, sure. I'll have to reset it again once we change our heading, but... Oh, and your boxes are 50 meter increments, not 10. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I zoomed out so we could see this ship. No, that's fine. I'm not a navigator. I'm just, uh, I glanced over and I was like, oh, you're pretty close. I'm going to come up a little bit, but you're not close. Yeah. Nope, far away. Turn that out of center off. August pilot's being too uh, analytical. Adalina. The August is just one syllable. It's so much easier. That's two, Argus. Argus, okay, two. But Adalanta is Adalanta. Ad That's four. So much harder. Twice as long. Twice as long. <laughs> just use a Star Wars term. Adat. 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 <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> kind of looks like it, an ad at the top part of it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Give her little legs. <laughs> that would be cute. We'll just give her wings and make it a TIE fighter. So many screens, so much data. All the data. Sorry, Megan, if, I don't know if it was discussed already, but the next step on the dive plan would be to go back to those instruments we placed on the ground? Yep, that's where we're going right now. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get the time of the entransect? Uh, I think uh, well, Ricky did, yeah. Okay. Yes, I did. Good. Yeah, uh, are we ready to move? Okay. Okay. Great.
many octopuses do we see on that uh, transect? Like a few or? Um, we saw one before we officially started, but yeah, we didn't see any on the transect. Not on the transect, okay. So just the one in the connector panel? We saw one on the connector panel and I saw one on the in floor, a hole yeah. on the ground. Hole. Right, right before we like officially started our transect. And these are different than the ones we saw at Cascadia? Yeah. Yeah, different kind? Yeah, different kind. Are these a giant Pacific octopus that uh, you'd see here? Or? I think so. They're definitely not the the Granolodoni because it's a lot shallower here, and those ones don't come this shallow. At, four, at 400 meters, do you still see, um, do you suspect you still see influence from the sun, from daylight? Oh yeah, there's still light getting down still at the steps. Cool. Roger, let's get going. Vamanos. that? What? That sort of clumpy thing over there. I don't know. What's this white thing too? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. A sort of... Is it an octopus? Or a fish with a... Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna find out real quick. Get a zoom there video? It's like a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Fish? <laughs> it's just yeah. curled up. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, curled up. fish. It's, it's a like a puppy dog. Yeah, <laughs> it's an eel pelt. I was wondering why they were called eel pelts when uh, we were passing them and they're all just sit sitting there. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know, because they kind of have an eel-like body and a pouty-like mouth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just Let's not shoot it in the eye with the laser. They do have that super long kind of dorsal. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely day. see the size Come difference on. in the fish, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those All are white. big fish. can't believe they're going after that red rock fish, but not after that little thing. Yeah. I think the red rock fish was easy prey since it was already dead. Oh, that one's also a bit of a sitting duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah those this one's like probably a little more slimy. Yeah, that was a red rock. I really like that big school of rockfish that we swam into. Yeah. There was one starting to form by the IP. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, they're, they're really cool. Looks like you're at the aquarium sometimes with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. We are in the aquarium, the world's biggest aquarium, <laughs> the Pacific Ocean. The rockfish are pretty cute too with their little grumpy faces. <laughs>
Mm. There you are. It's a big folded enemy. You can come down a couple meters. Never. <laughs> yeah, getting strung out. Well, can we zoom cool. the rock? Yeah, yeah let's zoom the rock. Zoom there. Yeah, that'd be sweet. It's a lot going on there. What is it? A very scientific rock. Look at it. So many samples. Yeah, all sorts of things. Makes you wonder, is there actually a rock well, or is it something biologic that everything attached to and then just kind of... Yeah, well, there's, we've seen a few drop stones. Oh, so these are all those uh, solidy sea cucumbers, the things that have the branching white tentacles. I saw one of those at the coral cliffs area. Yeah. What are those weird um, shell kind of things? Sacks? Yeah, those are brachiopods. Huh. Oh, like a, what's a brachiopod, like a clam kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, they're like a clam kind of thing, but they're not mollusks. Well, based on the footprint of this area, it looks like it was something bigger at one point. Um, well, the currents will actually scour around the rocks. And so you have like a divot around a hard object. It happens a lot with the wrecks like and stuff as well. Yeah. All right, you can come wide. So yeah. Something kind of interesting is all these pebbles. Oh, wide. That's kind of mm -hmm. weird. Is that, is that kind of part of the scouring, I guess, exposes those? Yeah, I think so. So it's like some previous... Looks like something burrowed underneath it. Is that true? Could that be? Previous? Yeah. Just all those kind of look like river rocks almost. Yeah, little, little small pebbles. Underneath of the big rock. Interesting picture. Well, we got something. Oh, oh, big rock. A big rock. Big rock. Oh, is it a rock? Yeah. Looks like a rock. Whoa, oh, yeah, whoa. Well, it's uh, a lipanema. A pom pom anemone. That's oh, massive. it's nice and round. You can get a quick zoom, but we're going to have Very to get out ahead again. It's like a yep, koosh no ball. A stinging koosh ball. It's like a big oh, random a really rock big in the bottom of the ocean. This is a nice rock. Look at all these sponges. Anemones. Brachiopods. Brachi lots of brachiopods. Sponge. Oh, sweet. It's a big one. Do you want to mark the location of this one, Fabio? Yeah, why not? It's close to the IP. Ish. Ish. Hundreds of meters. All right. Back wide. I'm going to catch back up. Full wide. Can you drag the nav screen when you get a chance? Big oh, rock. <laughs> big rock. <laughs> So random. Mm -hmm. So random. <laughs> it almost looks like a piece of concrete. <clears throat> Want to bring down the sonar range to? Oh God! Why are we at fifty? <laughs> IP. IP. The medium. You can't see nothing. I was like, where was that lock? Yeah, it was like all the way in there. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you think it would have been something you'd have seen? Ooh. Nice big skate.
you can come down a couple more meters. Aye, right, aye, Captain. Ooh, look at that big star. <laughs> big star. It's so big. Quick zoom on that big star. Star, are you? And all this stuff, Patrick. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks hymenaster like, but, but not quite. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind of star Probably this is. Can you let us know when you want Shaw to continue logging biology? Uh, yeah, I'd like them to, to, to log. Yeah, because we're right. pre prepping cool. next live plans yeah. and stuff. I'm yeah. not logging anymore. So. Cool. No worries. Thank you. Yeah, you were Thank dead you. still there. This is a little hermit crab. Oh, well, we're almost back on the map. We're off the map. <laughs> We're getting back on it. Getting distracted. No such thing as a distraction in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> it's all very interesting things. So many things. Definitely not a lack of stuff to look at. That's what I mean. They're all distracting. They're Very distracting, distracting us. Yeah. Lots of distractions. Oh. What is the captain doing in the high <laughs> voltage room? I don't know. 
I wonder if he knows we can see him. I hope he's not messing with that camera. He did bump it a few times. Slightly more tilted than it was. When a deck officer is in a electrical room, it's always scary. Another one. Getting there. We are. We'll be there soon. You can come down a few meters again. Looks like you're going down slope. Yeah, but ever so gradually. to 400 meters. Um, guess Dan's gonna be boots on deck for this one. I don't know. <laughs> Talking about you, I got Crocs on. Me too. too. I got my slippers on. Slippers. Slipper shift. We got turn around. Get back in the water. Video is going to be off for a minute to do a watch change. Roger that. Woke up thinking it was Sunday this morning, and I was like, wait, mm -hmm. it's not Sunday. Almost. So in our target. There it is, I'm uh, seeking. Yep. It looks like an IP. I think is the CTD. There is a CTD there, but then the IP is directly behind it. 
All right, you ready for another move? Yep. Okay. Maybe 20 meters or something. Um, is this something big and in the water column that we're approaching? Mm. No. Okay. Another 60 meters, probably. Okay. There. Yeah, there might be a few things like up to two meters tall, but that's about it. Okay. Cool. Bridge nav. Can we move six zero meters two eight five, please? Thank you. And we can do that zero point three knots. Thanks. Look at the striped red fish. Got pink fish, you got blue fish. <laughs> All the fish. Look, they're lining up a race. <laughs> <laughs> All red Your marks, fish get in. set, go. Oh. They're like, I want to be in the light. No, you get out of my way. Mm -hmm. I'm in the light. It's my 15 seconds in shame. Do you think we can reach that CTD monument? And while we wait for the ship, have a look at it? Maybe. Yeah, it should be able to. If we can get a look at that CTD. A little biofile in there. Yeah. I mean, it's still functional, but uh, normally we recover these every two years to send it back for calibration. So this must have been deployed last year. If we can get some zoom, if you if it's sure. possible, kind of on that shroud. Let's turn off down light here. Go for zoom there, video. Roger that. Specifically, we're kind of looking. On a, okay, so that's clear. That's good. And if we can get that shroud down below, just to get a visual. I mean, there's a few enemies going on there. Okay. I think that's pretty good. That should give us a idea. Looks like someone forgot a pair yeah, of Yeah, a pair of uh, cutters or something. Yeah, cutters. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking pretty good shape, though. I know. <laughs> All right, come on, Jake. Hold on.
Welcome to the bonus. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, I like your pun. <laughs> to the planche pool one. That was like pretty sweet. Hmm? That planche pool picture you see out there. On the previous this page. Previous page. That. This is the video there. Look at all these uh, uh, rockfish hanging out. Hauls of rockfish. Look at that. that. Incredible. This IP is uh, turned into a uh, yeah, okay. artificial reef. Okay, so from here, the packages are all kind of to your right. We already, earlier in the dive, we disconnected it. Oh, look okay. at that old jellyfish. Huh. There's also an octopus in there earlier. So these IPs, they're made of steel, right? Steel, yeah. How long do they last underwater usually? Uh, at these locations, they seem to come up after three, four years with zero corrosion. And they're all zinc coated, so hot dip galvanized. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, but they come up and you rarely have to re-dip them. So you just power wash them, give them a good paint job and put them back down? Don't even paint them again, just power wash and put them back oh. down. For some reason, steel lasts at most sites very well at, and then like depending on the sometimes there's some like some elements in the water that just corrodes like crazy near the hydrothermal vents yeah near a vent like not even where we have them but near the vents steel doesn't last and straight of georgia steel doesn't last for some reason but in general it lasts very well gets that oxide layer on it just kind of seals it i yeah, guess it just gets this dust and have a little bit of red and that's it and that doesn't interfere with your instruments at all? Uh, any reading? Not doing trace metal work, obviously. No, yeah, I know. I don't know what that little guy is. Looks like a weight. It does look like weight with a monkey fist. Okay. Uh, do we have that on our little chart here? No, we do not. Two VPR, I don't know. Two elven weights, uh, just a weight pack where the BPR is right now. But that instrument we saw there, that's what we're recovering. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And that's the last step of the dive. So the, there are th three things there. Um, it's the instrument, the kind of a rod with a bunch of bead bag, plastic, like bags, empty bags. Yep. And the connector is either we can hold it or we can just let it dangle, whichever one. Okay. So we're gonna cover that and the stick. It's the best way to approach this. I think we're gonna pull that bag off the porch. We're gonna put it in long ways. Okay. Right towards the back of the porch. Wire hanging off the front. We can leave the bead bag on the bottom as well. If it's more convenient. The uh, the bag patch or no, no, the, the um, one the on one, the porch. The one on the porch, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to leave that. Laterals are slow in this current. Well, if you want to face into the current and turn the other direction, it might be yeah. advantageous. I was thinking of for grabbing the connector as well, but we're going to, but we got to get the instrument on first. I think either way, I'm going to be lateraling into the current, but it's fine. Yeah. Beautiful landing. Mm. 
Okay, I'll steal porch. Yep. Can we get down lights? Down lights coming on. Can you rack back? Yep. I'll throw that beanbag off and I'm going to grab that RBR and set it long ways there. Yep. If I can, there's a strap there, but I'll push it up against there as much as I can. It's racked fully back. Okay. Pistol grip mode? Yeah, I'll try it. See how it works. <laughs> it might be, this might be like the pro strat. Mm. Can I get you to tilt down at the camera? Ooh, I like that. Uh, no more freeze fails. No more freeze fails. Why not? I uh, replaced the button in the master. Oh. Do you oh. see a eye on that bag? I'm just going to have to grab the bag. You can just pinch it, yeah. The corner or something. Well, you got the strap there, too, I think. I do. I'm just going to drag it out a little bit. There we go. I hate to say this, uh, but I think this uh, of course. pistol grip mode might be <laughs> a new favorite because I've got <laughs> full control yeah. with three fingers. It's perfect. It's like, I don't know, playing a trumpet or something. <laughs> There's flute mode and trumpet mode. Well, the thing is I got my index finger for my oh. trigger now on yeah. top. Can I get a... Yeah. Can I get his... No, there we go. Come here, little guy. I don't want to grab you. Their legs go back anyway, don't they? Nice. Wow, yeah, good thread. Get some more more room there if it'll go. Yeah, nice. And then we can get a we magnum. Go, yep, go ahead and grab it with magnum. Probably nice. just grab that uh plastic uh If you wrist right, you might be able to just grab a hold of the plastic underneath. Uh. Uh, elbow up and then... Yeah, yeah. coming up. Miss. Jaw open though. Do you want me to tilt up on the camera for you? I guess, I guess. Throw the bag off and go for it. Is uh, the jaw locked on your screen? Oh, never mind. It just opened. I spammed it. It's fine. Actually, now. it is. Oh, really? There you go. That's why it wasn't opening. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Think so? Right there, maybe? What do you think, Dan? You good with that?
Okay, I'm gonna let go with uh, this guy. Uh, lock the drone here. It's great. All my fingers have their own controls. It's, I'm not playing a clarinet or a quarter. I don't think that's going anywhere, but. I don't think so either. I think we're, I think we're gonna stash the connector on the porch if we can. And then we gotta grab the uh, spear of bags and then we'll just put the arm over top of it. We need to grab that spear. Yeah, just the empty empty bags. So I think I'm gonna stick the connector on the uh, up on top by the bottle, and then we'll grab the bags, and then we'll just do an arm. Go ahead, Bridge. If the arms are too much, don't bring the bags. Then that's fine too. Don't if bring the bags. Okay, the bags I'll just grab right. the connector yeah, then. Yeah, bags bags aren't gonna fit. Okay, think. that's fine. It's they're not going anywhere. <laughs> Can I get you to uh, rotate to I'm the okay left? That. No, I meant the oh, vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pivot yeah. if you can. Rebuild a couple thrusters, it's fine. <laughs> then we just mark that spot of that bag for next time. Okay, that's good. Yep, 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 yep. I did. Yep. Good, you did? Good, okay. Yeah. Send down. Thank Send you. down one second. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you've, you've got a lot of stuff on here. Some more bags up high is not necessarily the best recipe. Got a bubble. <clears throat> Whoa, what's that? An octopus just landed in front of us. Oh, I don't know. Do you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Just came diving in and crashed into the ground and curled up. Oh. See that, Fabio? Oh. He just came torpedoed in and landed. Grab that right thing so we can zoom in on the octopus. An octopus? <laughs> <laughs> he just came in. Landed. Yeah. A little crash landing, yeah. That's a grub. He looks like he survived. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope He's so. He's gone into alien mode, though. Look at him. I don't think it'll fit in the Fletcher with the uh, box there, can it, will it? Huh? Yeah. Probably away from the ADCP head. <clears throat> and that um, the Magnum wrist, that's pretty, once it's locked in, it doesn't move? So yeah, yeah, static. no, it's locked, it's locked in. Okay. So. Oh, on the instrument? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the most friction, right on the orange <laughs> friction pad. Yeah. Okay, I'm frozen. And then a quick zoom on that octopus yeah. once you're ready. Zoom there, Jacob. Roger that. Going in. Oh, I can rack, rack out, too. Whoa. Oh, he's in full camo mode. Yeah. He's moving. Look at him. He's walking. Oh, whoa. Slithering. Against the current, or parallel to the current. Or uh, perpendicular. <laughs> perpendicular. Yeah, maybe he's dinner time. Whoa, cool. 
That's really neat. All right. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, cool. I think uh, that completes all the objectives for this dive. Recover to recover to deck. Think we're uh, good. I think so. Not on the bridge. Plus talking you. <laughs> oh, snail. It's a snail. That looks like the snail that we see on the. Um, Sorry. Okay. On the whale fall. Hey, that's a nice looking uh, conch shell. Eighty All right. Kick them wide, uh, Jake. Pulling wide. Get a setup for recovery. Okay. Do you gotta get that clump of bags? Nope. Oh, uh, we're gonna leave them. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to float up with these cables. You're going to come up with me? You. Yep. Yeah. How long is this cable? Uh, it should be 20 meters. 25. 25 we have meters, it. Yeah. We have both ends of it, so it's probably okay. 10 meters hanging off the bottom of the vehicle. Just go make sure they know to expect that. And we're recovering with high voltage on, yeah? Yes. Okay. We also have an instrument hanging half the way off the porch. Okay. How fast you want to come up? Um, hold there one minute. I'm gonna fly out to the end of okay. tether. And take do out. That, I will disable Atlanta thrusters. Bridge nav. We're getting ready for recovery, expecting to be at the surface in about 20 minutes. Thank you. Where's my stick? There it is. I mean, when you got a good pull, disable auto heading. Roger that. Let me know when I'm. For you to come up. See how fast. Um, 20 meters a minute. Probably going to be slower because we get all this. Yep, ramping up now. All these sensors on the vehicle. We lost one uh, straggler. Yeah, I saw him hanging out. Wonder if this star is going to come all the way up. Bridge nav. If it is, it's be a cool. Uh, Can we cool secure sample. the tanks and fan and enable air to the tuggers? Okay. I'm coming okay, up at 18 awesome. meters Thank a minute. I'm happy. Are you happy with this heading for recovery? Okay. Can we start tracking a line forward 0 0.3 knots? Thank you. Four twenty off bottom. Oh, you're 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 uh, paying out. What? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How did I do that? 
good catch. <laughs> That would, have, that would have been. I was like, "Why is the delta going negative?" I was like, "What is going on here?" Oh, oh, yep, there it is. Let's not do that. <laughs> that I would have been. How I just flipped myself around. Ah, it happens. It happens. I was like pulling, and then I stopped, and then I started pushing. I guess I. It's all right. We, we, you know, we solved it. <laughs> that would have been funny. No, oh, man. Just all make right. sure you're on your toes, you know? Make sure you're, uh, Good. No, that's, yeah, I need that. Good thing we went, like, on bottom when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Is that... Sea star, a sun star. It might become a wall it, in a minute. <laughs> it looks like a sun star, yeah. Get a. Want to zoom on this sample, Jake, while yeah, we're coming sure. up? So we're over the rail? Roger. Sand star, maybe. At least we got something good to look at on the way up. Yeah, it's perks of bringing up a sample. Sample, sample. I think I'm counting 10 legs. Could be wrong. Arms, One, two, legs. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is hard to see. Enough. More than my line. It looks like the legs are moving. Arms, limbs. Camera. Coming for a ride. See you soon, Sunstar. Maybe not a Sunstar. We are ascending. Post status. We'll just be doing a quick tor turnover and launching again later tonight. That looks like the plan. All right. And then are we launching at ADCP? Oh, are we launching something after the ROVs are coming up? Uh, no, just, just me. Uh, instrument? I, I could be wrong. All righty, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm 
kind of, uh, I need more practice with it, of course, but it's a totally different orientation I'm used to, but it makes sense. Yeah, no, it does. And I'm not holding the weight of the pendant. It's sitting on my wrist. Yeah. But I kind of like... You're being converted. Trumpet mode. Call it sax mode. Saxophone. Sax. Sax mode. Because we got flute mode. We'll have sax mode. And then you got fighter. Fighter stick. <laughs> fighter stick doesn't work though because you got your trigger and your buttons don't aren't the greatest all the time. No one's got to reach over and hit the freeze button with your left hand. It was nice though. Freeze fail did not happen. Yeah, I know. And it's you, and you, you don't even have to worry about it. On the now. Yeah. Finally. The button went to the little place where the buttons go when in the sky. Curious how many people on this Saturday are sitting there watching us live. Oh. I did not know that because we've been talking about numbers quite a bit. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I think we packaged up our deck pretty nice.
bridge now. Dan uh, should be down now. Dan is in the data lab. Is that bio box all the way closed? It's, it's popped open a little bit. That ah, looks better. That don't watch him. <laughs> Ejecto Cito. Oh, they changed it all back to normal. The GUI too. No, mine still says. I can see Hook and Atlantis sonar.
Approaching 75 meters. Coming out of uh, auto. I'll stop on the wrench, 75 meters. Camo coming up. Annette, can you secure my sonar? Yeah, I'm seeking, uh... Yep. I'm gonna bring on the launch and recovery salvo. Sounds good. <clears throat> Probably start shutting off our Atlanta lights. If you want. Yep, I've only got one light on now. Cool. Oh, camp stopped. There we go. Daytime, so I can just go ahead and secure all the lights.
I always love seeing the view of the plop. Uh, you gotta leave the para on. Because I'm flying it off Delta, trying to keep the uh, Herc at kind of the same depth as... Gotcha. Sorry about that. It's all right. Um, yeah, probably. It's calm enough. And A whole lot of birds. Yeah, they're probably picking at our sea star. Kind of an ugly looking day, isn't it?
Pull forward, please. Roger. Van Deck, Kirk is about 10 meters from the transom. 10 meters, roger. And uh, Kirk is past the transom. Roger. Coming out of bypass. Kirk is out of the water. Roger, out of the water. Alright, I'm going to secure high voltage. Yep, heading down. Zag, control, high voltage is secure. Copies. 